Hi, it's Monica. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to shape a Guatemalan palm leaf hat. I'll be using a palm leaf hat that I got from Sunbody Hats and Sunbody is based here in Houston. I got an open crown hat. By open crown I mean an unshaped hat. It'll be a four inch brim and I'll show you that all you have to do is just get it wet. I'll shape it into a classic cattleman crease for you and I will also shape the brim. And after that, if there is any other crease that you're interested in learning, just post a comment and then I'll um, show you how to make the next crease. Thanks. We're over the sink and I have my hat. This is a four inch brim somebody hat and you can see the name there's the name um, there's a Guatemala bring it up close so you can see so and I'm in the kitchen sink and I'm about to get it wet See, I'm just running the water. I'm going to get the whole hat wet. And as you can see, I'm not submerging the hat. I'm just making sure that the hat is completely wet. So, if I wanted to, I could have filled the sink with water and just dunked it into the sink. But I don't have I don't have to do that. So now we're in the sink. And what I'm going to do, this is the front of the hat here, this is the back, and I'm going to press on both sides, press it in. So that you can see, it's forming shape. And I'm just tilting it a little bit so that I can see how it's coming out in the front. But squeeze it in on the sides, on each side. And you're going to want to make sure it's even. So you can see that's fairly even in front. And then we're going to press the center in. Press it down. And don't be afraid of it because if it's not wet enough, you can always get it wet again. Or if you make a mistake, you can correct it while it's wet. So there's the crown. And I'm just going to turn it towards me so that I can see if it's even. Okay, so that is the front. And now for the brim. Um, if you get the hat um, and it arrives kind of bent, you can straighten out the brim if you want. Um, but basically um, what you're going to do is curl the sides up and you want to use your hand kind of cup it and curl it if you want to bring the front down you use your thumbs
and um, I'm just curling up the sides. And I'm kind of over curling it because as you can see, when I release it, it tends to spring back. So as it dries, I want to make sure that it stays where I'm creasing it. So I'm kind of over creasing it. So you can see that side. Then I'm just going to turn it around so that I can shape the other side. And I'm giving it a firm touch. As you can see it's coming along and now there's a big space in between here and here so I'm going to turn it towards me just so that I can close that in some more so I'm just kind of bringing it in a little bit more in the front I'll try and do it from this angle so you can see a little bit better closed it in and then the hat is starting to dry on me but that's pretty much it you can tilt the front down if you want and then I turned it around so I could tilt the back down a little bit but um that's pretty much it. It's fairly easy to do. But that is the cattleman crease. And I'm just going to turn it towards me one more time because it looks a little off center by looking at it in the camera. Give me just a second. that's pretty much it you just use your hand you kind of cup cup the brim and squeeze and um, I'm just got my other hand on the sweatband I mean my fingers are on the sweatband and just cupping it in like that and I'm holding it from the crown of the hat so that you can see but I'm just holding the hat from the underside and cupping the brim of the hat with my hand. So that is it. There's the cowboy hat. Now if you're wanting to do something a little bit more aggressive on the sides, um, like a taco crease, then what you'll want to do is you'll want to curl the back up more. And by that, I'm kind of pressing down with my thumb to put the curl in. Let me turn it around so you can see. Kind of giving it more of a curl because the taco crease tends to start like right in here, in this area. So you have to give it a really good curl. And then I'm giving it a good pinch and this is going to require two hands because the taco crease is uh, pretty sharp on the sides and you can see what I'm doing and I'm pinching the corners and then I'll do the same on this side I'm going to give it a pinch. And all I'm doing is pressing or putting a crease in here, a real firm one. Mm -hmm. 
so that you can see what it looks like. Bring it in some more. tends to have more of a swoop to it. Move it back so you can see. So you can see that side. This side still needs to come in some more. It's trying to come undone. I just brought the brim down a little bit more in the back because it tends to want to curl up a little bit. And that noise you hear in the background is my two-year-old playing. But that is what it would look like. I'll let you see. And some people like it to come up higher on the sides, but either way that's how you get it done. Okay, so here is the shake tat. Mix it from the side, the back. Completely shaped. And here's where some people will add the finishing touches. You put it on your head, and if you see any flaws, or let's say you want the brim to come down lower then I'm just grabbing a hold of the hat so it doesn't move on my head and just pull it down and um, I'm trying to get the curl to start from this far back and bring it down so I'm using my thumb to kind of help me create a curl. So as you can see it came down a little bit more in front. So before it showed more of my forehead and now it's curled more. But that's pretty much it. This is a 4 inch brim, Cattleman Crease, Guatemalan Palm hat.